Hello! Hi, Mama. What are you doing awake? You shouldn't be awake right now. Uh, hope you're having a good day or early morning, uh, whatever time it is for you. I'm gonna, I'm not doing dice today, I'm gonna make some phone grips, because I made a few phone grips as kind of like uh, an experiment, sort of, just to see if people were interested in them, and they sold. So, I'm gonna make more. Um, especially more, like, little, little galaxy space ones. Oh, I hear a kitty cat that's very sad. <laughs> oh, man. You're already awake. Ah! Uh, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I was cutting it a little bit close because I went over to my uh, grandparents' house to help my grandma with a printer. But uh, I'm here. And to be fair, like, it always feels like I'm cutting things close when it comes to streaming. Like, it, it doesn't matter how prepared I am. It's just like, oh gosh, I gotta start streaming. Where's all my supplies? I've mentioned this before, like, some of the other people that I watch stream, even people who have, you know, large streams always seem to have the same sort of, like, oh gosh, how do I stream again, sort of mentality. But, it's all good, it's all good. Uh, I'm just cleaning out my molds a little bit here. I'm debating, this is going to sound weird, I'm debating cutting up my molds. Oh my gosh, he sounds so sad out there. Oh wow, buddy. That's the like, that's the meow that he makes when he has to go to the vet. Like that's, that's a mournful meow. Why is he so sad? <laughs> Why are you so sad, buddy? Man, he, he knows that he's inside for the night. That's probably what it is. And also, I'm not out there to give him attention. <laughs> he is such a silly cat. Alright, so, like I said, we're going to do some, some galaxy dice. Not galaxy dice. Galaxy, um, phone grips. I'm taking this off. It's like... Oh! To be fair, I was just looking at, uh, so, when I pull up my, my stuff for streaming, it has like a little mini feed that tells me like who has followed and you know so and so has has rated and all that sort of stuff and i it i was like who subscribed oh not subscribed who followed a day ago i wasn't streaming a day ago and that was one of the folks that uh followed a day ago so you know uh maybe you could show up that'd be cool even if it is rather early for you maybe saturday maybe saturday and i do plan to stream this saturday i know i didn't really mentioned that I wasn't streaming last Saturday a whole bunch, but... Oh, well, thank you. That's very sweet of you. Hopefully folks can come hang out. That'd be nice. But no pressure, of course. We're just... We're gonna do some arts and crafts. Um, okay. So, let's get this... Uh, like I said, I'm debating cutting these up. And that sounds weird, but really I'm just debating, like, cutting them in half so that I can fit them. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean you talk about me? Uh-oh. I feel like I should be concerned. Um, I'm debating cutting these up because this is like a tray that I can put into my pressure pot. And it's just a little bit too big, but I think if I cut it down the middle, we're gonna, we're gonna cause some problems in a good way. Ooh, actually that one I can't, never mind, I can't cut these. Never mind, never mind. Never mind. All right, uh, so let's start working on the galaxy ones. I don't, I feel like it'd be fun to do, I stools. All clicky. No, your dice look great. I've seen pictures of your dice. They look great, Mama. You just posted some today, and I'm like, ooh, I like that. Those look really nice. Have I showed you uh, pictures of, like, some of the first dice that I've made? Because, like, uh, they're not great. <laughs> it's always fun to pull out some of the, like, 
completely bad dice that I've made. Not necessarily completely bad, like, they were okay, but like, you know, I've just, I don't know, I've gotten better over time. I wouldn't say I'm great yet, there's like so many, like, dice out there that I see that people have made, and I'm just like, oh, that's so cool. Man, I wish I, I could do that. Like, that's just so clean. I'm like, ah, oh, man. But, but no, your dice are lovely. All right. So, galaxy ones. I need my little charms. Ah! Uh, you finally found it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I bet that takes... Polishing, sanding and polishing just takes so long. It takes a lot, a lot of time and effort. So, pulling out. That was kind of loud. Pulling out all the things I need for some Galaxy phone grips. I think it might be fun. Hmm. I was trying to think of like another design to do for phone grips. I have a couple of ideas, so we might do that. But let's make let's make a few of these. And let's see, we got, we got all of our, our little space charms. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Uh, uh, Jen got these for me. Oh, to be fair, that's, I, I think I know which molds you're using, or I, I have an idea which molds you're using, and yeah, that's super easy to do with those molds to accidentally uh, put the, uh, the, the wrong. Uh, I need another gold. Put the wrong, um, wrong side on, yeah. There we go, let's pick that up. I'm kind of following, uh, some, uh, some, uh, uh, phone grips that I made already. Let me go find a photo. I probably should have put a photo, like, up for people to see better, but, um, this is... Maybe it'll focus. There we go. We're gonna we're gonna make some more some more phone grips like this. A little bit kind of yeah, it's a little washed out there, but that's the that's the plan. One of the sides of the dice didn't even have a number on it. Oh man. Um, have I showed? I showed you my spiky D twenty, I think. Um, but let's see. I have I have my box of of old resins stuff here. Let's see. Uh, oh, this one was fun. This one was me confused because I used the wrong equipment and added way more bubbles. Than, oh, yep. Let's see. Yeah, that doesn't want to focus, but come on. There we go. Not starting to focus. There we go. Yeah, this is me using the uh, wrong equipment uh, and getting it completely full of bubbles. Let's see, what else do I have in here? I have a lot of them that are just very bubbly. Um, oh wait, I think I have something here. No, I think it's in my other one. I have a die that um, I used a pigment. Yeah, I think this one. Is it? Nope, maybe that's not it. This is it. It might be a little bit difficult to see, but it, um, around the, um, around my D20 face there, you can kind of, yeah, you can kind of see in that corner there, it's kind of like all melty weird. It's because I used a pigment in it that, uh, didn't cure properly. And so I just ended up with like a sticky mess in my mold instead. That one was fun. Oh man, I really like how this set ended up looking, but I got a big, big bubble, big bubble in this one, but I do like how this set looks. Um, yeah, I got, here's a set that I tried to do recently, where I was trying out putting, um, yep, I tried using a vacuum chamber instead of a pressure pot, that's exactly what I did. Um, this set, I tried putting some ground up, um, chili pepper in it and it just like all sank and then 
ended up being kind of like little pock marks on the surface of the die. I have all sorts of, of just little little problems here. But I think I have one here from a bad, like a mold that I made poorly. Yeah, here. This one was just like vacuum chamber. Yeah. I know what she meant, was just the import important part. Yeah, you see that kind of like bubble there? That's just because I made a set of really bad molds. That, that, that mold just did not turn out good. Yeah, I've got all sorts of, all sorts of random little things that, they don't always turn out. But that's part of the fun too, is just experimenting. Oh yeah, here's, yeah. Part of the fun of experimenting too is just, you know, finding things out. And sometimes when you're experimenting, things just don't work out. Yeah. Yeah, you can see, yeah, my, oof. Sorry, I'm looking at my, my sanding and polishing attempts. That one's not even polished, that one's just sanded. All right, anyways. How many years have I been doing dice? Oh, not, I haven't even been doing it for a year, I don't. Okay. What is it? No, I mean, actually, no, maybe I've been doing it for a year now. Because, yeah, it, maybe, I think not quite a year. Um, yeah, I think it's been not quite a year, because I think I started around June or July. Wait, no, July. Yeah, so it's been about a year. It's been almost exactly a year since I started making dice. <laughs> I, um, yeah, I, I, yeah. Because I started it kind of a, just a little bit after quarantine started. Um, which, oof, it's been a year. Yeah, no, my my whole dice making journey has... It, I didn't really expect to be doing this. Which maybe sounds a little bit weird. But, um, I've, I've told the story before. I don't know if everybody's heard it, but... I had a desk job for uh, five, yeah, so yes it is. I have I have a couple of, of resin coasters that I've made for myself. Um, I'd like to make resin coasters to sell. My problem is that the resin that I use isn't quite heat resistant enough and so it kind of like slightly, slightly melts a little bit. You can see there with my hot mug. So I haven't I haven't actually made any to sell because I they just don't hold up as well as I'd like them to. But no, I um I had a desk job for five or six years, and I quit it to go back to school full time to get my degree because I was very close to having my bachelor's degree, and like it just was not like it wasn't working out with my schedule. Oh, you made some. Ooh, I'd love to see photos. I'd love to see photos. Um, but it just wasn't working out with, like, my schedule and everything, so I went back to school. I'm looking up the photo again. Um, and I graduated in May of last year. Okay, so just do that, and then we'll do this, and we'll do this, okay. Uh, and I'm trying to kind of match up what I had before. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Yeah, I wanted to look kind of random. You don't take enough. I'm I'm always excited to see what people are making. Oh, well, thanks. I'm not exactly using my degree, but um, no, I graduated in May, which was right after the quarantine had started. Um, and so I uh felt a little bit weird trying to find a job. Because I wanted to be able to stay in contact with my parents and my grandparents to be able to help them out with stuff. Um, so I felt a little bit weird trying to find a job, but I also felt weird not having a job. Um, and so I did Uber Eats for a while, um, but I decided, man, I need, I, I should have a hobby or something at the very least. And so I, um, ooh, I tried making dice. And, you know, I, I almost didn't get masters made. I was just like... You know, it's kind of expensive. I don't know if I should, because, like, you know, what's what's the point of getting masters made? It's not like I'm going to sell these. Um, oh, man, he's still sad out there. Uh, but I did. I went and got masters made, and I made some sets of dice. And I started making some dice for some friends and stuff. 
and I made a couple of sets of, I made it like a set or two of galaxy dice. Actually, I think I'd only made like one set of galaxy dice, and I made a set of faux amethyst dice, and I put them up on my Etsy shop, because I had an Etsy shop, because I made soap before this, but I never really sold any. Um, it's just kind of fun, to be honest. I, I like making soap, but you make, you make so much soap when you make soap. And um, so I put up a, a couple of sets of galaxy dice in my Etsy shop, just to be like, eh, we'll see if there's any interest. And there was. I, <laughs> I was very surprised. I did not actually expect there people to be interested in my dice, but I quickly sold like five sets or so of uh, galaxy dice and so I was just like well let's uh let's pursue this so I just kind of continued going and things have just kind of slowly progressed so we gotten a little bit bigger over time I feel like I'm kind of at a plateau a little bit at the moment so I'm trying to figure out how to Oh, yeah, soap is fun. I was actually thinking of trying to do a soap stream on Saturday, like a stream making soap. So we might try and do that. I need to clean some stuff. You can kind of see down here, right there, that, that right there. That's all of my, like, uh, containers for making soap. Uh, and they all need washed. I need to clean them all out. All right, there we go. We've got all those. Let's start getting this stuff, please. Um, uh, but yeah, it, it's... Oh, yeah, I don't know if I've ever seen people stream uh, soap making before. That's not one of the things I usually see, but... You know, I, I'd probably get some of the stuff prepped beforehand, hopefully. But uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I might try and do that on Saturday. It'll take a little bit of, of setup, so we'll see. I'm not promising that, but that is something that I wanted to do. So I'll got I have to figure out what sort of design and everything I want to do, but that could be fun. Um, yeah, no, soap soap making is a lot of fun, but it is like a little bit. You know, there's certain. I guess you know with resin, you wear a respirator and stuff too, because there's certain hazards. Um, but I definitely wear a lot more. I wear long sleeves and closed toed shoes and all that sort of stuff with the soap. Because I do um, cold process soap, which is the kind that uses lye and oils. Um, and so you're using like really strong chemicals that could give you chemical burns uh, if you touch them. So I, yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit more, uh, I'm a little bit more cautious, I guess. But it is really fun to make. Soap is kind of fun for the same reason that resin is fun. At least the, the cold process soap that I make, or that I have made in the past, it's been a while. Um, and that's just that you can kind of mix whatever you want. Yeah, as long as you wear gloves and, you know, long sleeves and stuff, you should be okay. But yeah, I, I understand that. I mean, I always wear goggles. Um, what was I saying? Oh, um, yeah, where did my star go? I'm placing little, little tiny glitter stars into these now. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, soap and, soap and resin. They're, they're fun for just kind of similar reasons in that you kind of add whatever you want to them to a certain extent. Like, what got me really excited? Oh, since you were a danger, you probably spill it everywhere. Fair, fair. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm always very cautious when it comes to the soap. Um, like I have, I've made soap before where I put like actual honey in it and you can kind of put anything you want in it as long as it's like skin safe and stuff into cold process soap. You might have to, you know, work around things a little bit. Like with honey, um, whenever you add sugars to cold process soap, the soap gets very, very hot. And that's part of the reason that like, um, goat milk soap, that's a thing that I've seen before. People have made like goat milk soap. Um, a trick for making that kind of soap is making ice cubes of the, uh, of the goat milk and adding those, um, because it gets so hot that it will burn the, the milk. So, you know, it's, but it's, it's just kind of 
I don't know, there's so many different ways to do it. You can do whatever oils you want, as long as you have them in the right, you know, right amount. So it's just, I don't know, I like the flexibility of it, and you can kind of do so many different things. And there's always something to, to learn or try. That's, that's really what it is. There's always something new to learn or try, which is just fun. And it's the same way with, uh, same way with uh, resin. There's always something new. You must saw a woman making soap out of her breast milk instead of throwing it away. I mean, I guess so. It's, it's something you could do. It's not something I think I would do, but it's something you could do. And some more little, little gold uh, glitters. Ah, so I can get it off my tweezers. That's the hard part. Ah, okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm not sure what um what what kind of soap I want to make. I haven't thought too much of a design. I want to do something maybe kind of fantasy related. But I'm not sure what. You know, I want to do something that makes sense with my my shop, which is Alchemist's Attic. So, you know, doing, doing like a health potion soap could be really fun. Something like that. But I'm not 100% I'm not sure. Um, I am open to ideas, but that is something that I'll want to figure out probably before um, we even, uh, before I even start streaming. I'm also open to ideas for, for things we should make today. And we're going to do the galaxy ones I have. I think an idea, I think I'm going to try using some of my resin scrap because I have a lot of, just a second here, let me show you, it's been a little while since I've shown off how much extra resin I have, uh, and I want you to keep in mind that this is not my only container of resin scraps, just a moment here, move that off to the side so I can bring this over. You wish you could make soap to scrub. Uh, scrub is kind of like vigorously wash, like like uh, a really like a like a hard rubbing wash. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking maybe we can use some of this some of this resin scrap, cut it up into maybe some pieces, and add some of that to some of these uh, these molds. I feel like that might be cool. That was part of the reason that I was hoping I could put these in the pressure pot. Because I know that if I do that, it can end up with some bubbles and stuff. But I don't know. Just maybe we can. We'll, we'll try it out. We'll try it out. But yeah, I have. I have so much resin scrap, and this isn't even my only container of it. I have another container down here, and another container over there. Not this size, but there's so much resin scrap. Hey, Nerd Hollow, how you doing? I'm making foam grips. But we'll get to that in a minute. Let me finish setting up the uh, the galaxy ones first. Get those going. Oh. Ah, there we go. Uh, yeah, let me find some stars. So I'm just I'm adding some silver stars now. I added some gold little gold stars, and now we're gonna add some little silver ones. Mm. Trying to figure out where to place things so that they look random. And I've said it before, but you kind of have to be meticulous when you want things to look random. It's kind of a funny, funny statement, but it's almost... Well, where did that glitter go? Oh, there it is. Like, actual random is, is not as... Uh, uh, it doesn't look as random as placing things. Uh, trying some different pour techniques this week. Not very successful yet. What uh, what sort of stuff are you trying out? That sounds interesting. Oh yeah, okay. Um, exfoliating. That's what it's called in English. Probably. 
Um, yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's called exfoliating in English. Scrubbing makes sense. Scrubbing makes sense. Because I think of scrubbing as being, like, kind of rougher. Oh, the dragon scale technique from pour your heart out. Oh, it's the same word in French! That's kind of funny. We were, we were, you were thinking way too hard about it. Um... Uh, there maybe? Mm. Um, I don't know what the, uh, I don't know what the dragon scale technique is. I'll have to look that up. That sounds really interesting. But also, dragon scales, that'd be cool. Be fun to, uh, be fun to try out some, some new things. I feel like I've, I, I need to actually, like, plan out things, I think, a little bit more. I've gotten, like, I'll just sit down and make things, but... I don't know. There's something something nice about having thing like some ideas already when I sit down to make dice. So that might be fun. It might be fun to try out some of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Oops, don't like that. See that I just made like a straight line. Don't like that. Don't want the straight line of these. Put that down, yeah. Can I kind of spread them out and make them kind of but spread them out unevenly. Alright. Uh, oh, you've been making more earrings lately. Ah! But still, but still. You know, I'm just excited about resin stuff, to be fair. Like, I'm not making dice tonight, but... Yeah, I'm now I'm now curious about uh, what this is, because I have actually I don't think I've even heard of this, but it sounds cool because dragons are cool. Alright, I'm getting a little bit. That's the thing with um, yeah, I'd love to see photos. I'd love to see photos. That uh, that's what the that's what the Discord's for. To be fair. I was very hesitant, so this is, this is, uh, behind the scenes, I guess. I was very hesitant to make a Discord, because I didn't really use Discord all that much. Like, I was in a couple of Discords, but it's just like, man, I never really use this. But I had a couple of folks be like, hey, you should make a Discord. I'm like, alright, I guess I'll make a Discord. And now I'm just in there, like, all the time. I'm just like, I want to hear about people's D&D &D stories and see what they're making. Alright, let's put this down here. Uh... Oh, you made it once, but you've never been able to succeed ever again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I really should write down my recipes more, because that's just me all the time. It's like, I'll make something and I'll be like, oh no, what colors did I use? I did not. I have no idea what colors I used. That's part of the reason that I stream, too. It's because then I'm like, I can go back and look at the video footage. It's like, what, what colors did I use? Alright, I think we're almost good on this. That could use a couple more of the little tiny ones. I'll show you guys before we move on, but let's uh let me get these. Let me get these all placed. Oh, this one I think only has little cold shimmeries. Let's add some silver. Oops, I seem to have dropped one somewhere. They're so tiny, and it's like I'm just trying to place them so gently. Well, I don't know where that little piece of glitter went, so that's fine. It has escaped. I don't know. Oh, aha. They've stuck to the sides. No wonder I can't find them. Okay. Uh, there we go. Uh, thin layer of transparent resin, and then pour your mica powder colored resin on that layer. Oh. So... I, so I've, I've made some, um, sunrise dice in the past, and did that with a clear and then a bunch of, of, like, mica powder ones, but I did it recently, and I, and I added way too much mica powder to the solution, um, and it, it kind of did weird things, let's see if, 
like it kind of did like a um uh, a dirty pour but not and it's like this isn't doesn't match the sunrise dice that I've done before but it is kind of a cool effect when you can get the uh all of the uh, uh mica to like you get kind of cool swirls Now it's kind of hard to see on camera but there's just kind of cool swirls and stuff. Yeah, it doesn't quite match. It wasn't quite what I was going for, but I'm like, oh, this looks kind of cool. Maybe we'll have to do something like that. I wonder if, ooh, I wonder if I could do something like that with, uh... Oh, yeah! Yeah, my dice have my little logo on them. I've, um... Oh, I hear my cat again. He's still very unhappy. That's something that I'm I'm excited about. Is I'm, I'm gonna slowly. This, sorry, this was just sanded, so it's uh, a little dusty at the moment. But I'm planning to add little D twos to all of my sets soon too. So they're just little coins that have my logo on them. So I'm excited about that. Okay, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I've, I, yeah, that's kind of fun to do because it's like heavier. Sorry, I gotta go look at the Discord, see what you people are sanding me. Ah. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Okay. So because it like sinks at kind of different rates, you kind of end up with like a speckled effect almost. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. That looks very cool. I wonder if we could do that in... I'm wondering if we could do that in uh, these. Oh my goodness! Oh my, he's, he's meowing like he's dying out there. He's fine. <laughs> I like how I say that and he's just like, meow. Like, no. No, I'm not, Mom. No, I'm not. I'm very unhappy. Uh, do we need to do we need to let the kitty in for a moment? Get cat hair everywhere. Do we need to say hello to the kitty? I think we might need to say hello to the kitty. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. No, I'm not following you. <laughs> Never mind. He wants me to follow him upstairs so that I will pet him while he eats. That is. Oh. <laughs> As soon as I opened the door, he ran away. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't actually want in here. He wants me to go follow him so that I will pet him while he eats. That's one of his, like, two favorite things. It's people, people giving him pets while he eats. Oh, he's such a silly cat. He's a silly cat. All right. I think... Let me just check versus the things that I made before. Okay, and then the resin had a little bit of this in it. That's what I need to remember. Um, cool. I'm I, For anyone who's just joining, I am making more phone grips if it'll focus. There we go. Trying to make, I'm making more phone grips like, like these. Um, and then I do want to make, I think, some other types of phone grips too, just to try out some new designs. Because, you know, if, uh, we'll, we'll see what, what else looks cool. Let's put these away for now. Um, I mean, here's all my, here's all my colors for that, including my white. Um, I do need to make, uh, no, I'm not gonna make this tonight. Okay. I need to make a, a, a new D12 for a set, but I'm not going to make that tonight because I'm not actually going to use the pressure pots, so that's that's fine. That's just going to stay over there, out of the way. Um, but I, yeah, I want to make, make one that's like chock full of like cut up scrap resin and like glitter and all sorts of stuff. But let, and we could maybe try doing something kind of like that dragon scale one. That might be kind of cool too. So let me let me find some some pieces to 
cut up first for, um, oh, man, he's so sad. He's such a sad boy. He's so sad that I'm not out there petting him right now. And he doesn't actually want in. He's just a silly boy, too. Uh, so I, let's see. I'm trying to grab some colors I think will look kind of good together. Like some purples, some pinks, and blues. I always like purples, pinks, and blues, so we're gonna we're gonna go with some of those. Oh, this one has some orange in it. That's kind of interesting. Um. Oh man, look at this. Oh wow, look at that bright pink. That is very bright. I don't know if you can even see how bright it is on camera. It's very bright. Uh, let's see if we can find some. There's a different purple. Here's some different purple. And, oh dear. Fitz, stop it. No, I'm not coming out to pet you. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, life with cats. Buddy, do you actually want to come in and say hi now? Do you actually want to come in and say hi? You can come in and say hi. Let's see if he actually will come in and say hi now. Do you actually want to come in and say hi? Come here. Come here. Come here. I got you. I got you, buddy. You're going to come say hello. Come say hello to everybody. Come say hello. Yes, you're just a, a sad boy. You're so sad. You're so sad that I'm not upstairs giving you all the pets. Are you happier now that you're here? Now that I'm holding you and giving you attention. Oh, he's starting to purr. He is such a drama queen. You're such a drama queen. Buddy, buddy, you're not going down. Oh. Oh. Ah, oh, baby cat. Baby cat. I got a baby cat. Hi. Wait, wait, wait. Baby cat. He's such a drama queen. You're so cute, buddy, but you are so much trouble. You're so much trouble. Oh, look at him, though. Yeah, I think you're going to go back out now. Go back out. Oh, bye-bye. Oh, why not? Oh, well, there's another cat out there to distract him now, hopefully. All right, let's get, let's get back to actually doing resin stuff. Hopefully I don't, I'm not covered in too much cat hair. Yeah, he's he's so cute, but he's such a pain sometimes. He's such a pain. All right, so I wanted to try. I'm gonna try um, doing kind of like a um, it's like a mix of things. Where are all the small bottles behind me? Oh, um, oh, that's the back there. That's all of my soap making stuff. So like this. The, the, this shelf right here, that's all like scents, and then this here is all pigments. Those are actually mostly mica powders. Um, I have used most of them in resin as well. That's kind of been a, a nice thing, is that I can use a lot of my soap making pigments for resin. So I've, I've stolen quite a few. Yeah, um, like these right here. All of these right here. Uh, all these mica powders and stuff that I use for, for resin. Yeah, these are all technically soap uh, supplies. I got these from a soap supply company. But they they work great for, for resin. So for resin they shall be used. And also soap. Like I said, it's been a while since I've made soap. Because soap, soap is really fun to make. But it makes so much of it. You won't get out of this room. Got to smell of, smell all of the different fragrances or uh, touch all the pretty pigments. So there's lots of options there. All right, we're gonna add a little bit of this. That's probably enough of that. I'm figuring this is a little bit bigger, so we can add maybe some kind of bigger pieces into all <laughs> do lots of things. Yeah. Um, and this room needs cleaned so bad. I need to, I need to organize this room. There's stuff all over the floors and stuff. Well, like I mentioned, I have all my soap stuff right there. 
that needs uh, cleaned. <laughs> Mix everything together. I mean, yeah. That is that is the fun part, yes. Um, I'm debating how much of this... How many... How many... Hi, Omar! How are you doing? Uh, okay, so I'm just thinking, um, I think each one of these takes about 10 milliliters of resin, if I remember correctly, and I can, I do things in increments of usually 100 milliliters, so we can make about 10 of these. We've got six of them already planned, so we can do four more. Uh, I'm trying to debate, um what I want to do for those last four. And they don't have to be that shape, they can be one of these shapes too. So I am I am open to ideas for things that we should make. If people want to see, want me to try something out in particular. Ah, eh, eh. There's a piece of pink resin stuck in my finger. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to decide um, so I wanted to do one that had like this, these cut up pieces in it. I'm trying to decide how much of the cut, cut up pieces I need. Um, if I want to make that, um, <laughs> uh oh, good things I hope. Um, uh, 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 yeah, if I want, if I, how much I would want for like one of these, I think maybe like kind of like the geo geode shapes maybe for the um for this like mixed up one hmm, i wonder what this is from but yeah i'm uh i might not use all of these pieces that i cut up all right I get like a variety of oh no oh no maybe oh so maybe it wasn't good things oh that's yeah yeah that's definitely a thing I've done before too luckily it was not my masters but uh yeah Oh dear. Alright, I think... You know, I'm actually, I'm gonna grab, grab one of these. Because I want, I'm gonna be doing about 10 milliliters of resin, like I said. There's gonna be about 10 milliliters of resin per foam grip. So let's see, this has a, a measure, measure on the side, so. Uh, and this isn't gonna be all resin, so let's see about how much, how much we can, we can fit in here. Uh, and I want to get kind of a variety of colors. That's the goal, anyway. But yes, I got your, um, your, your dice are, uh, partially sanded now, uh, Omar. So that's, that's exciting. I might let them sit. I, I got them, like, sanded down to the point where, uh, they are the right shape, if that makes sense. Um, there's no, like, weird lips or anything. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I'm associated with messing up things. Oh, dear. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what you want to be known for. Um, but I, I might wait, I might wait, uh, before polishing them, because I think I want them to, to set a little bit more, maybe. Since I did just, when I made those... Monday, so I pulled them out yesterday, so it's like, hmm, probably, probably want to let those sit for a couple more days so they can harden up. Oh yeah, I'm not worried about it. I try to get uh, things done as quick as possible, though, just because, like, uh, I don't know, things just take so long. That's the first thing we talked about, the first time you, oh yeah, that makes sense, that makes sense. Your form formative memories of, of Omar.
yeah, I, um, I don't know, I, I try to get, my problem is that, like, I have no concept of time, and so if, wow, he's back again! You'd think he would have left after I already picked him up and waved him around here a little bit. And he wasn't happy about it. Um, I was just gonna say though, I, like, I have no concept of time, so if I don't work on things as soon as I get them, uh, I won't, like, I'll put them off way too long without realizing it. So it's just easiest for me if I try to do all of the different steps as soon as, oh, as soon as possible. Also, that means that I can get more commissions done, hopefully. Um, I, yeah, I did put a few more commissions up in the shop today. So we'll see if, see if anybody reaches out with interest for those. Yeah, I, yeah. I have, I'm sorry, I, I keep looking over there because I have a set of, uh... Oh! Oh, I'm glad you're comfortable. I, yeah, sorry, I do talk really fast. Um, I do usually, I'm glad, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. Um, I could try to slow down a bit. Honestly, uh, I do try to phrase things multiple ways, say things in, like, uh, you know, a, a different configuration and stuff. So that, I figure that might help with comprehension a bit. Yeah, yeah. That was that was something that uh, I can't remember. Was that was that on stream that I was talking about uh, like English and dialects and stuff and how I'll say like n mm, instead of and because I just did that. I just said English and dial like dialects and stuff and mm, stuff instead of and stuff because. Yeah, there's, it's kind of, yeah, it's, it, you know, I don't even think, I don't even think about it. It's the, I don't know, uh, all over again. Yeah. All right, I think this is probably going to be enough of this resin. I'm going to add some other stuff here. Now you have to improve your understanding of British English. Oh, good luck. Good luck. Yeah. Uh, hey, I'm I'm impressed with anybody that can speak or understand a foreign language since uh, I am I am sadly American, which uh, the stereotype stereotype that Americans can only speak English is yeah yeah that's pretty true. Oh, there's still a sad kitty outside. He's so sad. All right. Let me do a little tiny bit of this pink cut. Oh my gosh. Like I said, this is his, like, going to the vet sad meow. He's just, like, so sad that I am not upstairs giving him pets right now. I think maybe, like... I'd say that maybe he has separation anxiety, but honestly, he spends a lot of his day outside. And he's more than happy to do that, so. You also have that stereotype in France, don't worry. Oh, good. Good to know. The stereotype about Americans not being able to speak multiple languages, or about French people not being able to speak multiple languages. Um, yeah. So sad, guys. Oh, yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah. What have you guys been up to? I saw, I saw that you, um... Ah! Oh, the French not being able to talk other languages than French. Oh, okay. It's not just us. It's not just the Americans. Um, I saw, yeah, I saw your, your polished dice which is very ex that's not true americans not being able to speak other languages or the french not being able to speak other languages and because there, there are plenty of bilingual americans too but i think part of because you know people come here from all over like 
there's a lot of people in my area that can speak Spanish. But that's more because people either grew up in a house that spoke Spanish or because that was their first language. And it's not really because we were taught a second language all that much in school. Like, we're required to do a certain amount of foreign language, but we're not really taught, like, at least where I am, we weren't really, like, taught to become fluent in another language. We do have a couple of local schools that are, um, like, bilingual schools. So, mm, things that are changing. I feel like a lot of the internet is in English. Maybe that's just me, because I mostly see things in English, but you're going to make up a language. You can think of anything off the top of your head. Yeah, that is, that is something that, um, like, I had a, a co-worker who uh, sent his, his, you weren't being serious. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, I had, a, I had a co-worker who sent his kids to a local, pu I think it's local public school, um, and it was a bilingual school. So his kids grew up learning both English and Spanish fluently, which was pretty cool. He didn't know Spanish, but uh, his kids did. All right. There's that. Might as well just do that in there. I don't know why I have that out. Uh, but I want to add some other stuff as well. Let me add some of this. Maybe not that much. Put some of that. And add some of this. I'm going to add just gold, but we'll add all the colors. that just a little bit and let's add some of uh oh, let's add some of these we've got these little like metal like metal beads let's add a few of those there we go and we're just looking, we're just adding everything we can to this one um let's see what else do we got oh well, we gotta add some glitter I got some glitter, right? Um, hmm. Maybe some like nice bright blue glitter. No, actually, I use that in a different thing. Let's use a different glitter. We're gonna use some purple glitter. Oh, um, uh, Omar was going to make a joke that French people spoke some made-up language, but he couldn't actually think of a made-up language. Like, as a, as a second language. Oops. At least I'm assuming that's where he was going with that. And some purple glitter. Yeah. He, he, he kind of, like, bailed on the joke, basically. Didn't, didn't quite uh, finish the joke. Alright, let's add a little bit of gold glitter. Because I like gold. It's pretty. Oops, that's more gold glitter than I meant to add. Well, we'll, we'll just that, that's fine. It's good. It's all good. Uh, and then we're gonna we're gonna mix that up and we're gonna put that in I think one of the these ones. I think that'll be nice. Uh, so that's another one. Another one. Um, I'm like I said, I'm open. I'm open to ideas. Oh, we wanted to try doing the dragon scale type thing. Oh yeah, pig Latin. Oh yeah, I wonder. I wonder if there is something like that for French. I wonder if it, or, yeah. You know, I never really thought about Pig Latin as, yeah. Uh, Mama, do you know what Pig Latin is? It's it's kind of like, yeah, it's, a, it's just a made up, uh, modified English, where you swap some of the letters around. But I wonder, I wonder, I wonder the cultural reaches of Pig Latin. That now I'm real. That's something that seems interesting. Like, do do British people also speak Pig Latin? I wonder if that's a thing. I don't know. I don't know if that's just an American English thing. Where did Pig Latin even come from? Where did that idea even come from? Um, okay, we want some sort of clear, I think, and then some sort of 
um, not clear. So we could do like a, a blue and like a seafoam green. I think we want things that are kind of close-ish in color. Um, like, because we don't want to make... Oh, German, English, Spanish, Portuguese. Oh, yeah. I mean, we, yeah, we have, to be fair, we have French right above us in Canada, and we have Spanish right below us in, in Mexico. Never heard of Pig Latin before? Yeah, that's, that's a weird thing where it's like it will never come up in conversation, but somehow, like, I just know what it is. It's one of, oh my goodness, kitty cat, you're fine. Yeah, I hadn't really thought about that. Ooh, like maybe a green and a yellow might be kind of cool. Um, yeah, Igpe Atenle. Um, you take the first sound off of the word and you put it at the end of the word and then you add an A sound. So like pig would become Igpe. You take the P sound and you put it at the end and then you add an A. And I, I, I don't know where it comes from. It, it reminds me of, like, there was certain kind of inside jokes that would, like, spread around, like, when I was in school, I feel like, yes, cat would be at K. Um, there's, like, there'd be, like, inside jokes that would spread around the school type thing. Um... And it reminds me of that, because it's just like, I don't know where this came from, but, like, everybody knows what it means. Ooh. Ooh, maybe let's do, like, a pink and, like, a yellow. Ooh, I feel like that might be, that might be kind of fun. Let's try the pink and a yellow, I think. Yeah. Um... Yeah, do we want to do the lighter yellow or the darker yellow? I think maybe the lighter yellow. I think the lighter yellow might show up more. So let's let's do like a pink and a yellow. We're going to try doing that thing where you add a whole bunch of mica powder. And then it... <laughs> add big. <laughs> You're an add big girl. Yes. Add big Earl Gay. Yeah, I always found it very confusing as a kid. All right, we're gonna try one that's pink and yellow because those are fun colors. I already have the pink out because we're gonna use it in the other thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> IRL gay? You know, to be fair, I am now amused that that um, saying girl in pig Latin also just says IRL gay. <laughs> That's, yes, that, that's, that's very amusing. Um, so, yeah, we have yellow. He's still very sad out there. Buddy, buddy, you're affecting my Twitch views. Probably not. Me? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm somewhere on the ace side of things. Um, oh man, he's so, he's so sad. Uh, maybe if we're quiet for a moment, maybe if we're quiet for a moment, he'll, he'll forget that I'm in here. Um, what, what shape? Well, no, I've just found that uh, <laughs> sometimes if I stop talking or making, or I turn off like a YouTube video I'm listening to in here or something, the cats will just like forget that I'm in here and leave. But at the same time, I'm streaming. It's like, I gotta keep talking, buddy. I'm, I'm talking to people. I can't just be suddenly completely quiet. That would just be weird. Found a couple of little gold uh, sparkle over here, so we'll add those to this. This one could use another one. And not the cat hair that's in there. Free cat hair with every phone grip. Man, to be fair, I'm 
like if he was actually like when he's going to the vet I feel bad because he's, he's just like in the car and he's unhappy and I'm like yeah I understand why you're unhappy buddy but right now he's just being a drama queen like uh, I don't feel bad for him because he's just complaining about nothing he's he's just complaining that I'm not upstairs giving him pets while he eats right now that I, I I'm can I swear to you, that is what's going on, is he's just mad that I'm not currently upstairs petting him. He's just being so dramatic about it. Uh, Alright, so I'm thinking, so I'm going to do the, the pink and the yellow. Let me try that out. I'm thinking maybe in one of like the hexagon ones, I feel like that might be kind of cool. That'd be cool in one of the hexagon ones. So let's try that. I'm just using some tape here to get all the like random little dust and cat hairs and glitter and everything out of here because there's definitely cat hair in these there's cat hair everywhere it never ends all right um so we're gonna we're gonna do that we're gonna try this in one of these there's cat hair in that too there's all there's so much cat hair everywhere Yeah, I can I can hear him outside the door still. All right, we're gonna try this one in one of these, uh, and then we're gonna try I think the yellow and the pink over in I think a hexagon. I feel like that would be cool, one of the hexagon ones. We're gonna try doing the thing that we were um, just talking about, where you do like a clear color, or you do one color and then you mix up a whole bunch of mica powder into uh, uh, some other resin and pour that on top. And it, since the mica powder is kind of heavier, it'll sink. So hopefully we'll get kind of a cool pattern. That's the idea anyways. So we've got six, seven, eight. I think we could do two more. We need to do two more, um, uh, 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 what am I trying to say? Uh, phone grips. We could do two more phone grips. So does anybody have anything that they'd be interested to see? Is there something I should try with, uh, with these phone grips? Hmm, I could do, let's see, what could, what, what should we do? Um, I did get a different iridescent thing, uh, or, I, I went to Michael's, which is always dangerous. I got a different, like, iridescent cellophane stuff. We could try some of that in one of these, maybe, with some, I don't know with what. Uh, we could try doing that with maybe, it's like, a, 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 a Petri effect. I found that I do like the Petri effect in this. With my dice, I always, I always have trouble, but it works out. It works out in these. Um, or we could just do this with like some purple resin. Ooh, that might be kind of nice. Just doing like the iridescent with maybe like some purple resin, maybe some gold foil. I did some dice like that recently, and they're so pretty. Maybe we, maybe we try that. Maybe we try that. This might be a little bit loud. Let's put these away. Try some, some kind of... Uh... Ah! Try some, some... Just uh, colors and shapes. Colors and shapes. So we'll try a little bit of this with, I think, some purple resin and I think a little bit of gold foil. I think that'll be pretty. And then we have one more. So, uh, yeah, is there? I'm, 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 I'm taking suggestions. I'm taking suggestions. If there's something in particular, folks would be interested in seeing. Um, I could mix a whole bunch of, of like glitter together. That's always kind of fun. Like I've got some butterfly glitters. That might be kind of fun. Um, I could do something glow in the dark. I could. We could do something like neon. Should we do one that's just like neon colors? That might be kind of fun. Should we do one that's just like bright neon colors? I feel like I feel like that could be cool. Just do do bright neon colors. And that'd be ten. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start getting this stuff set up unless unless someone comes in with uh, something they'd like to see. I'm gonna I'm gonna start getting this set up. Uh, 
And I really need to uh, grab some new uh, stir sticks. Okay, I don't actually want too much of the um, the, 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 the holographic glitter because I don't want it to overpower the resin. I want it to be clear enough so you can see all of the drips of color. But I want enough that you can't actually see the glitter. I'm doing six of them as opposed to three of them. That's what I did before, so we'll, we'll add a little bit more. Mm, I'm realizing that I probably shouldn't have done that in this. Probably should have done that in a larger container because I'm going to need like 60 milliliters of this. Oh well, that's okay. We can we can make a little bit more halfway through. We'll probably end up doing that. That's okay. Well, I'll set this off to the side. We might need this glitter depending on how things work out. So there's that. This one's all set to go. We've got all of our stuff there. Um, these. Well, actually, let's do this first. This one is going to be. Um, the one where we're going to try and drop some of the, the heavily pigmented mica powder resin through the bright, the lighter light pink uh, resin. So we'll see how that turns out. I'm grabbing a, a, a mixing cup for it though. Alright. I should, I should probably just refresh and just start over with my mixing cups and my stir sticks they're getting a little bit crusty with resin so i might as well but we can use this yellow one with some more yellow that works out fine uh what what, what do you want to make mama i'm sure there's lots of things but i i am curious what uh what you want to make I'm going to add a whole bunch, a whole bunch of the mica powder because I feel like that's kind of what I found makes it sink is when there's kind of an excess amount of the mica powder in there. So like we want a bunch. We're going to do about only about I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I am. That is actually something that I'm working on. I right, because I want to make some too. Um, I finally um, got the um, Zbot mold making system from uh, Etsy because everything else was just not working out great for me. I'm gonna make about five milliliters of this. That's I'm still gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna make a uh, space bar though. That's that's something I think though once I have that kind of made, I think I can get a space bar figured out. But but yeah, I am I'm kind of excited because that's uh, yeah I've been wanting to do that too. But let me see if I can find. Let me go to Etsy. I'm going to try and find There we go. I'm going to find you a link. Okay. Oops. Ah. That's what I wanted. Uh, there's a moment here. Here we go. This is this is what I got. Oh my gosh. Copy. Uh, have I mentioned that there we go. There we go. Um that's that's what I ended up getting finally, because it's it's just gonna be the easiest way for me to make 
keycaps. But um, yeah, I'm I'm excited to actually get some molds made. I'm kind of doing things a little bit a weird way, so it's taking me a little bit of time. But I am I am ex I am excited. Um, let's see here. Get the cat hair out of there. I know, I know. The name, I'm like, what, why? Why is this the name? Okay. No, I had the same reaction to it. I'm just like, why? Why, why is it called that? And that's gonna go in one of these. That's gonna go in there. That's gonna go in one of these. Uh, maybe we should do this in one of the hearts. I feel like that'd be, that'd line up with the, uh, kind of the aesthetic. We're gonna try out this new, like, iridescent, uh, stuff. Slightly, slightly different, uh, iridescent foil. Ah. And a little bit of gold foil. And I usually try to break this up a little bit before I add it. Not like break it up, but like make sure that the sheets are, oops, flat and individual. Because otherwise I just end up with big clumps and that's not what I want. Uh, and that's, that's probably enough. I don't think we need too much more. All right. Set those off to the side as well. There we go. So that's going to go with our purple. I think we're going to put it in a heart. I feel like that'll be, that'll be cute. Put that in a heart. Uh, and then these, I think this is, these are going to go in a square. I feel like that'd be kind of cool. Have like all of the colors kind of lined up. That's my kind of plan there. We'll see how it goes. There's still dust in there though. That's loud. All right, let's uh, Yeah, there's, I don't know, there's so many things, there's so many things I want to make, and not just, like, resin stuff, but, like, I don't know, but it's just, I, like, I don't know, there's just so many things I'd like to make, like, YouTube videos, it's like, that'd be fun to make. Also, I, uh, realized the other day that Blender, which is a program that I, free program that I had for, um, 3D modeling, also has video a video editing uh, software stuff built in, which is super easy to use. I'm like, dude, perfect, because that's really yeah. You can. Um, there is there is some like keycap molds. They just the the lids didn't center right for me. I started I started out with some some like. AliExpress type ones. I actually ended up sending them to a different dice maker friend because it sounds like she was interested in them. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I know the, that whole thing is kind of expensive, but finally I was just like, I can't get it to work otherwise, so we're just, we're just going to go for it. Once I get things up and running, I think it'll work out well. I'm making kind of a like a master key for myself for the moment. Oh, here, I can show you what I have sitting over here. So I have, um, I just used like a key from a keyboard. It was an escape key. Um, and this is not polished yet, but, and it's not, not sanded on the bottom, but I went and made a note to myself that it's an R4 because there's, diff there's different kinds of keys um, that have different shapes to them. Uh, but I made like a, this and I'm going to, sand it until it's the right shape and everything and then I'm gonna polish it and then this is gonna be the key that I use to make my molds. That's my plan anyway. That's my plan. Um, but I need to I need to sand this down and polish it. <laughs> Already looks wonderful. Oh thank you. It's uh... I, uh, it, it's gonna be a little bit of work but uh, I don't know I just want them to I don't know I want them to look good. I guess. If they must. Uh, that. Um, but yeah, I just used, I um, found some like keyboard keys on Amazon. So here's the, here's the key that I used to make that. 
it's just this es escape key. Um, you, can, you can order just the keys. And the reason I didn't end up making a mold of this is because it's designed to use the least amount of material possible. So it's very, very like thin at the top here, or at the top is very, very thin. And so it kind of, it wouldn't work for what I wanted it to work with. So that's part of the reason I ended up using this system because this one has the piece to make the, like it, come, it has a specific piece to make the backs. Um, like that, you make the, you don't really make it the same way that you, I make my, I didn't make it the same way I make my um, dice molds. Um, it is a two-part mold, but I made them separately. And that's, that's kind of what I was saying, like, I'll need to figure out how to do a space bar, because I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. That one's going to take a little bit more finagling, because the, because of how the back is, is built. But I'm, I think, I think we can get it. I think we can get it figured out. I might end up uh, trying to um, uh, like make multiple backs because like the space bar they kind of have like multiple spots where they're indented like that. So I might make multiple of those backs. You tried to find a pressure pot, but you're confused. Oh yeah, I don't know. I don't know uh, how to find one in France. Before I built mine kind of um i think you can buy pre-made ones but i built mine out of a um it's like a, a paint uh pot it's for like painting houses that's yeah that's what i i yes i ended up with that and then i modified it myself i changed it i added pieces to the top and stuff so that it would work as a pressure pot uh, I'm surprised that they don't sell more pressure pots since resin resin stuff has become so popular. Um, but yeah, that's... Oh, should we make this glow in the dark, too? Let's make it glow in the dark, too. We're gonna make these glow in the dark. These are gonna end up matching uh, uh, some dice that are in my shop. But yes, the pressure pot that I have was one of the ones that was for paint. Yeah. Um, I think I have notes somewhere. Yeah, that was one of those things. You know, I like, I like making stuff and stuff, but like, you're scared. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, it's always the, like, logistics like that and the, like, the the equipment that I'm not familiar with that's, like, I'll put it off for as long as possible. So I just end up not doing things, which is, like, it's a bad habit of mine. And I realize it's a bad habit of mine. Because it definitely holds me back from doing things that I want to do. All right, let's uh, let's add our pigments to these. All right. Do you have no other choice? You will. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I don't know, because I know you can get. You don't have the same options that we do. Like, there's just different things available uh, over there. So I don't know uh, what would and wouldn't be available to you. Because I have seen, like, converted pressure pots. You know, I'm realizing that there's a market for that. There's a market for uh, pressure pots. That's something that someone could totally do. Someone could totally get a bunch of the paint pressure pots and modify them and sell them on, like, Etsy or something. They'd probably do really well. If you if you need a um, a business idea, Omar, since uh, since you uh, uh, think it's it's fairly fairly quick and easy, not saying that it's <laughs> thinking like that's yeah that's something that I thought about a little bit like there's a lot of like pieces to like 
dice making and stuff that are there's a lot of little things that I've learned while while learning to make dice like how to build my own pressure pot and how to make my own molds and that sort of stuff but those are also things that people don't necessarily want to do there's probably plenty of people that want to get into dice making just as like a hobby or something and they don't want to have to learn Mmm, true, true. That is more pigment than I meant to add. Let's take some of that out. That's uh, okay. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, so like there's, there's a market for making, like, I, I don't think I would do it because I'm comfortable enough with it at this point. But if there was someone that I could send my masters to and they would make all of my molds, you have to do some maths, that's fair. Um, but if there was someone that like I could send my masters to and they would make all my molds for me, like there'd be a market for that. And like I said, I'm not planning on doing that because I'm comfortable enough with molds at the moment and also that would be expensive a bit just because silicone's expensive and People's time is worth money. Um, look how look how bright this yellow is. It looks like it's glowing on camera almost. It's so bright compared to everything. It also kind of looks like it's glowing in real life. It's very bright. Um, we're gonna add a little bit of, of glow in the dark powder to all of these though. Yeah, that's true though. You'd have to figure out like whether it would actually be, be worth your time and stuff. It's lit. Hey! Yes, this is this is literally called lit, and I'm gonna use it for this. I have found that it tends to sink. Um, that's actually a problem that I've had with this glow in the dark pigment. I like this glow in the dark pigment a lot. It glows really well, but it sinks. Um, but since we're doing a foam grip like this, where you're really only gonna see one face, that's fine. Oh yes, the pink is. You know, it's funny. The the green like this is not very intense. Like, it looks almost kind of pastelish, uh, but then once you mix it with the resin, it's just like, whoa, that's green. It's kind of, kind of interesting how, how the colors change a little bit in the resin, too. There's a whole bunch of resin on the outside of that. All right. I think one of my favorite things is that um, when I add this glow-in-the-dark powder to these colors, I haven't tried it with a lot of other things, um, it makes it so that the resin glows that color, so this will now gr glow green and blue and pink and yellow. I'll see if I can show you. Let's add a little bit more. I'm adding way too much pigment, I'm realizing, but that's okay. We'll just make them glow a whole bunch. Yeah, this stuff so glows so bright that I put my hand over it and I can see the glow just from here. Let me show you how much this stuff glows. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna turn off the, the light real quick. It's just been sitting out for a little bit. There you go. Yeah, you can see it there. You can cut too very there's the even with the monitor there, you can see where I just took some of the powder out because it's not all glowy there. But this stuff is so bright. This stuff is so bright. But yeah, it likes to sink likes to sink in resin, which is my, my one qualm with it, my one uh, complaint. Put that back over there. But now we have our colors. We have all of our pretty colors here. Set those off the side, and I think those are going to go with one of the square ones. Alright, I think, I think I have everything figured out now. I think we've got everything. So we've got our galaxy ones here with our little bit of glitter and our pigments. We've got this, we're just gonna get all mixed up and put in one of the these ones. Uh, I don't know what you call it. This one's just gonna be pink and yellow. Oh, I need a container for the pink. That's what I'm missing. I need a container for the, the clear pink. I don't know why I'm doing that, and I'm not just grabbing a container from over here. It's already mostly cleaned out. Uh, there 
we go. We'll use that one. And that one's going to have the pink that's over here. Yes, it's this one. All of my inks are so coated in, in pigment and stuff that it's getting hard to tell them apart. Can you tell what colors these are? Which one is white? This one's white. Yeah, they're... I always have to like look at the bottoms to tell what colors they are now. Uh, I sound like a um, I sound like a, a, a early morning children's cartoon. Can you tell what colors these are? Good job. Can you find the red ball? Yeah, <laughs> all the purples. Yeah, they're all purple. Sure seems like it. Um, which is funny because I probably use the purple the least out of all of these. I use the purple the least because it actually does not combine well with the resin. Um, okay. I'm just making sure I have everything all figured out. That's going to go in a heart. This is going to go in one of... Ooh, who's texting me? Exactly. It sounds like a Dora episode. Exactly. Oh, okay. That's, that's something I can respond to later, but let me turn my ringtone off, actually. I think that was actually something I... Can you guess my favorite color? Um... So the thing... Well, actually, actually, I don't know what your favorite color is. So, yeah, what I was going to say is that your name always shows up as red for me, so my first thought is red. Um... But I also feel like everyone's favorite color is blue. <laughs> Alright. Oh, purple! Your favorite color is purple, of course. Since everything's purple. I I can I can figure out how logic things work. Alright, that's gonna be pink. And then these are gonna go in one of the squares. Um, okay. Cool. I don't need those. That's why you're so insistent. To be fair, I do like a good purple. I do like purple. Alright, I think, I think we're all set to go. If I can make sure there's no cat hair in here, like there currently is. There's always cat hair. Alright. Why is there always cat hair? Alright. Yes, I think we are, I think we are all set to go. So, are these, nope, nope, nope. I was hoping maybe I could use these gloves again, but they always end up stuck together. I do think that the, when I run out of my, um, when I run out of these gloves, I'm going to try those silicone ones that I think you sent me, Omar. Oh, you like this dye then. That's why I don't use this color all that often. That's not the purple. That's why I don't use this color all that often in resin is because, uh, it looks brown in certain lights. Um, yeah. I've, I've used it before, and if you use just that color, I think you sent me a link to some, like, silicone gloves. I think that was you at one point that looked interesting. I was going to look at those again and see if those might work for me so I don't have to keep disposing of gloves every time I make do resin stuff. I remembered correctly. That's a first. All right. Let me grab all of my mixing stuff. I I put all my mixing cups in here. Do I want to use that? Mm. Mm. Yes, actually, I'm going to use that. That's because I want to mix slowly, and that'll hopefully remind me to do that. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and, and look at those again, cause it would be nice. Like I said, it'd be nice to not have to, to toss out my gloves every time. Save the planet one, one pair of gloves at a time. Where is the end of my tape? Here's the end of my tape. I'm at the end of my tape. Um, Cause there's all, there's just so much cat hair everywhere. I think I must drag some cat hair in on my sweater. Because I'm always, you know, wearing a, a sweater. Maybe I should leave a sweater in this room. Mm, that might be an idea. Because I, you know, this is just like my 
house one of my house sweaters you know it's it's thin but warm um because it's you know pretty cool in my basement um but i wear it around all the, all around the house so i wear it when i'm you know snuggling cats i'll wear it while i'm just lounging around i'll wear it upstairs and so i'm wondering if i'm just bringing all of the cat hair in on my sweater but maybe if i leave a sweater in here it won't be able to pick up all that cat hair because it won't be around the cats this might be a smart idea. I don't know if I'm going to do it, but it's probably a smart idea. All right. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll try that, though. Maybe I'll leave this sweater in here. I like this sweater, though. It's comfy. All right. Let's actually pour some resin. Let me get my protective equipment on. I like how I take my glasses off to put my protective equipment on. It seems a little counterintuitive, but I'm not as worried about my eyes as I'm about my lungs. <laughs> smart ideas for smart people, not us plebs, yep. So we're going to put on a respirator. I'm going to be a little bit muffled for the rest of the video. Just a heads up here. Because I want to make sure that I'm protecting my lungs from all of the resin fumes. Hmm, and we're also going to put on some gloves. I don't want to get all sticky. Um, and also, like, apparently this is a thing. Give me get water. All right, have fun. Um, apparently it's a thing where, um, if you touch resin a whole bunch, you become allergic to it. <laughs> yes, I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for, for letting me know. I was very concerned. Um, and I, that's definitely a thing, because, at least I'm pretty sure that's a thing. Because I, uh, when I first started doing resin, when I first started doing resin, I was not smart about it. I wasn't doing it every day. Well, I don't do it every day, but I wasn't doing it as often as I am now. Um, and really, it's kind of like a, a overtime exposure type thing that's really an issue. But um, and I didn't wear a respirator and I didn't wear gloves, and so I would get resin on my hands and stuff. And um, more recently, I can't remember why. I think I got some resin on my. I can't remember if it's because I took my respirator off for something. I think maybe I did a set of dice without wearing my respirator. Or I may have, may have gotten some resin on my hands. I can't remember. But for a week afterwards, my eyelids, for some reason, were like super dry. It was just the weirdest allergic reaction. And that's the only thing I can think of that was like, you know, it's the only thing that I really lined up with. So yes, I would, I would recommend wearing uh, a respirator and uh, gloves when, when working with resin. Okay, I'm going to be probably a little bit quiet here as I try to measure things. Um, but I think this bottle's running out. I'm probably going to grab uh, my other one. But we'll try and use as much of this resin as we can. Yeah, I can't, I can't really talk and measure at the same time. Luckily, this one doesn't have enough. I don't have to worry about that, but yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I, I've gone through, how much resin have I gone through now? This is my second, um, set of these that I've gone through, I think. And I was mentioning earlier, I've been doing, I've been making dice now for about a year. Um, I didn't do it, I did a little bit of resin before then, but not a ton. Um, like I said. Yeah, it, I started out just doing a little bit of resin. Like, I tried to, making some resin jewelry just kind of for fun and stuff. But I really got into, like, the dice and stuff about a year ago. Right after the, uh, the quarantine started. I think we're just going to toss this. It gets kind of weird once you get down to just the little, last little bits anyways. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna pull out the new stuff. Is this the yes, the resin, the hardener. Perfect. All right. So, give me just a second here. I'm going to measure all of this up. We're gonna do 100 milliliters, so 50 of each, because this is half. You know, you measure this half and half, and then I'll be right back. Oh, 
I'm so close to 50 percent here. All right, there we go. We're at 50. <laughs> I mean, I mean, working with friends and sound like doing drugs. Oh no, that is not my intention. Yeah, I've been working for resin about a year now. No. The dangers of working with resin. I mean, yes, but... Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna measure out the other stuff now. try and mix this and not put not put too much air in it that's something I want to avoid this time <laughs> I look like Walter White from Breaking Bad doing some chemistry stuff <laughs> I used to only do a little bit of resin but not as regularly as I do resin now okay yeah that's fair that does sound uh, kind of bad my my resin habit has really picked up uh, recently. Yeah. All right. This is gonna take a minute because I want to mix this kind of gently because I don't want to get a bunch of air in it. And I also want to make sure it gets mixed completely. You know. Well, I'm I'm glad I could amuse you <laughs> completely accidentally. Oh. What are you up to, by the way? Do it, working on any uh, fun projects recently? I'm obviously working on resin stuff. Because I've, I've really picked up my resin ha habit recently. I, um, uh, I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, but I'm, I'm making more uh, foam grips because I wasn't really sure... Uh, you know, I made some... I wasn't really sure if people would be interested in them, but people seem to like them, so now I'm making more. You're still battling with dice. You sanded dice for 17 hours yesterday. Oh, hi, Countess. How are you doing? You been looking at these molds lately? I, uh... Oh, holy cat. Oh, thanks for following. Yeah, I, I actually really like them. I feel like they work well for... for um, doing phone grips. Yeah, I'm doing great. We're just, uh, we're just hanging out and trying to pick some stuff out. Um, this is a design that I've done before. I showed a, uh, picture. I'll show the picture again. Yeah, I don't know what SQD... Not to get resin on the phone. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Um, I'm trying to make. I'm making this design again. If it'll focus. There we go. Making that again. Um, that's going to be these ones right here. And then all the other ones are just kind of like some 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 experiments just to see how things uh, see th how things turn out. Ah, uh, let's see. Summer games done quick. It's a speedrunning marathon. Oh, okay. Is it any particular game, or is it just like all sorts of different games? Oh, why is there resin down the side? What are you doing there? So, uh, it sounds like you do resin stuff, uh, Accountess? What sort of stuff do you make? Oh, it's all sorts of games. Oh, okay, cool. I, I haven't heard of it before. Some stuff here. All right. It's a lot of fun. I'm I'm always interested to hear what what folks are working on. Um, part of the reason that I enjoy streaming is because it's kind of like a it's kind of like being in an art class and getting to chat with other folks who are working on stuff. So I'm always like, ooh, what what are you working on? What's everybody else's uh, project look like? Oh, mostly beach scenes. Okay, cool. Mostly make jewelry. Mostly. Beach. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, nothing. 
got some new... Oh, your old rabbit's now blind. You think that's good? That's good. <laughs> Couch potato. Enjoying your driver's life. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's definitely nice to relax sometimes. I I, I um I mentioned earlier, so I like I uh, I had a desk job and then I quit to go back to school. This is you know a little bit more than a year ago. Um, but I had like a month or two in between when I quit and when I actually went back to school and like I realized that I did not know how to relax anymore because <laughs> I had been working full time and going to school part time I had no free time um, and I oh I felt like I always had to be working and so like man I'm still bad at that too I am I still always feel like I have to be working I was on Twitch and it's on 24 hours until the event ends. See if you're doing background noise and everything. Oh, that's very cool. Oh man, I'm doing it again where I'm getting distracted and I am overflowing this cup with the resin. <sighs> this is why I picked, uh, this is why I picked this to stir with so that hopefully I would not do that. But I'm doing it anyways. <laughs> You're very distracting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Don't have a hype man here, so you gotta gotta be your own hype man. I get it, I get it. I think I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch over to just a popsicle stick because this I like these stir sticks. I like that they're reusable and stuff, but they're just slightly too big when I'm trying to make this much resin, and I just end up with it overflowing. I don't like that. So that's gonna that's gonna get set up to the side. We're gonna do this popsicle stick. Uh, you always get it everywhere. Yeah, I am. I don't know how long you've been lurking for, but uh, I was just talking about how uh, I always have to do grab new gloves for every every time I do resin because my these gloves just get stuck together. Yeah, I've, I've always been that way with arts and crafts, though. Uh, ESA, haven't heard of you, but yeah. That's cool. That that sounds like a that sounds like a fun time. I that's something I'll have to check out. Like I don't necessarily play a lot of video games, but I like watching people play video games, so that could be fun. I guess I speed runs aren't necessarily my my usual go to, but. Eh. It's cool to check out. Plus, if they're raising money for charity, that's great. Alright, this is still getting mixed. <sighs> what, um, I, I'm, I'm curious, um, but what kind of resin do you use, um, a countess? Um, I'm, I like this resin because it's kind of thick, but also it's kind of thick. So stuff like this, um, I end up with bubbles. So I, you know, I'm just kind of, I'm wondering, um, I really should try out the, li the little bit of liquid diamonds that I got again, um, for something. Ah, French Twitch gaming event. Anyway, stream I called Zerator last time they were raising for, oh, okay. It's thick, yeah, it's got lots of C's with how thick this resin is. No, it's a, yeah, it's a more viscous resin, which, for, yeah, I only do thick resin, yeah. Uh, many big French streamers, that's cool. I feel like that's something that, that sounds right up your alley. Oxy resin, oh, crystal clear resin kit art, boat and table, oh, okay. Two part countertop marine, oh, okay, okay, okay. Um... Okay, so I was gonna say, so, is that more for, um, there's casting and there's, yeah, okay, cool. I, I wonder if that's more of a coating resin, though, as opposed to a casting resin? Because there's, there's some that are, like, both, but, um, really cheap. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's fair. 
Um, but yeah, but you want to do like thicker things, I think. Uh, testing resins is how you want to go. But that sounds like it might be a, a it might be a combination of casting and coating. Oh, that's pretty nice. I think mine's almost hundred. Mine's almost a hundred bucks for a gallon kit. I did um something that I uh, figured out the other day was like I actually figured out like what my material costs are <laughs> for for like a set of dice. I kind of uh, revolve all of my prices and stuff around like a base set of dice. Just like what's a what's a standard set of dice, um, and we'll figure everything else out from there. But like I kind of figured out like how much things cost material-wise, and including like did I actually I don't know if I remember I oh yes including like mold making materials and packing materials it was like seven bucks in materials for for a set of dice. But to be fair, a lot of that wasn't actually the dice themselves. Like I said, there's like the mold making materials and the packing materials. And that's where that's where a bit of the uh, that's where a bit of the cost came in. Because silicone is not cheap. <laughs> so yeah. Uh oh, you you found something else for for uh, Omar to get into. Sounds like. That's cool though. Gotta gotta love those charity events. Okay, this is getting, this is looking pretty good. It's it's clear now, which is a pretty good indicator. I just want to scrape the sides and the bottom, make sure that nothing's stuck to them. So make sure there's no streaks of one kind or the other. And I've definitely added some air bubbles, but hopefully with the designs that we've chosen, they won't be super noticeable. All right. I think I think we're all set to go. Let's uh I'm still really sticky. Once you sat down and really figured out how much it costs, you started the thing that got me uh charging more was sitting down and figuring out how much time I was spending on things. Cause dice take a lot of time. Dice take like just for making the dice themselves, like between sanding and polishing and inking, uh it's like three hours minimum. And that's not taking into account like really the prep time or the you know packaging time <laughs> i raised my commission prices just uh that was something i did today i was just i was man i always have to fight myself to raise my prices because i always feel kind of bad just like uh i don't i don't know I'm not a very patient person yeah maybe dice is not for you then because they take a lot of time all right we're going to wouldn't be able to do that yeah, you know, I didn't, that was one of my biggest concerns, making dice, because I guess I had a few before I started making dice. One of my, the things that I was like, oh, I don't know if I should try making dice, was sanding. <laughs> See, you your, your French pitch, oh, that's, that's sweet, that's really nice. So we want to get down to, let's see how much we can fit in here at this moment. Uh, oops, uh, I'm down about 40. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're probably going to have to do some more of this, but let's see if we can get our glitter mixed in. I just want a little bit of glitter in here. Like I said, I don't want it to overpower everything. But yeah, um... <laughs> Uh, oh, you don't watch it at all. Oh, okay. Um, but no, I, um, what was I saying? Oh, the sanding, yeah. Before I, because I am not usually, a, I'm more of a big picture person than a details person. Like, I can come up with, like, an overarching plot, but figuring out the dialogue, I'm just like, oh, uh, I don't know, for, like, a story, that, that kind of stuff. Um, and so I was kind of worried about sanding dice so that they would be, you know, even and weighted and everything. But, like, now that I've done it for, you know, a year, or, it's so weird 
to me that I've been making dice for a year. It does not feel like I have been making them that long. Um, but now, now that I've been doing it for like a year or so, um, it's just, I don't know, it's just something I do now. It takes time. It's kind of like annoying to have to do a bunch of dice, but I'm going to fill these in. And I should probably be able to do about four. Oops, that is more resin than I meant to add. We might take some resin out of that one. Because I want a little bit of space at the top for the pigments to be... Like, have a little bit of room for them to spread out. So we're going to take a little bit of resin out of that first one. I added just a little bit too much. Yeah. Let's see, and I'm, I'm going to pick up all of the little charms, not the, the glitter, but the little charms that I have in these, um, because I want to make sure that there's no air bubbles trapped underneath them, so we'll do that in a moment too. Let's see here. Yeah, this one, so the, the problem with this first one is the resin is like completely flush. And I don't actually want that. Let's I'm gonna use this one. It's a little bit bigger. For a second. I'm gonna read that in just a moment here. Try and get some of this out. Like I said, too much resin. Too much resin. That's a little bit better. We don't even need that much. I want it thick enough that, because I'm going to do a Petri effect in this, I want it thick enough that um, there's space for the, the ink to fall through, but I want it thin enough uh, that uh, there's room for the, the... Oh, I just realized that I messed something up there because that's going to have glitter on it now. Oh, well. um, I want it thin enough that there is uh, uh, space at the top for the ink to sit and it's not going to like overflow completely. But anyways, uh, you live in a beach town, so people like the beach scenes. Oh, that's nice. Do you sell like mostly locally then? That's, um, I used to do soap at like a uh, holiday bazaar and that was, uh, that was always kind of fun. Like, I don't know, doing the like, like getting, I like interacting with people. You couldn't tell by me, uh, me uh, 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 streaming and all that, but like I, I like interacting with people, so like the tabling stuff that was always really fun for me. Oh, you have a jewelry on a website, but the resin stuff is in a boutique. Oh, that's very cool. Alright. Still a bit of glitter in here. I think we're gonna add we're gonna add a little bit. Yeah, that's very cool. I, um, that's something that I, I, like, I'd like to do. There's a local game store, um, great store. Like, everyone that works there is super nice, and it's, like, a local thing. Um, and it's just, it's just a great shop. It's, like, a bookstore, and they have games, and they have, like, a little coffee shop and stuff. Um, they've, like, slowly added to it over time. But it's, like, the place to go to, like, you know, I don't know, it's just a cool shop, yeah, but they sell dice there, um, and that's really something I should, I'd like to do at some point, is build up enough stock to be able to sell some of my dice there, um, because that's, it sounds, like, I talked to, uh, them at one point, and it sounds like something that, like, they'd be open to, but at the moment it's like, I just don't have enough stuff made, <laughs> I don't have enough items, like, made to, uh, to do that. That can, well, you know, we're back to the time thing, you know, it takes three hours minimum to make a set of dice. Why is there a cat hair in here? Get out of there. But that's, that's really cool, that's, I don't know, it's cool getting to interact with people in person, I guess. Gotta love the cat hair, there's always cat hair. I have to be more dedicated to dice making. I don't know what you mean by that, uh, necessarily, because, like, kind of am, 
that's really what I'm putting my energy towards at the moment, is trying to get my dice making stuff to take off. Everything just takes a lot of time. Like, you know, there's, you know, I said three hours. Only dice making. Ah. Well, eh, like I said, that's, that, I was trying to do that, but, oh, have a more rigorous schedule. I should show you my schedule. The thing is, like, a lot of this, of making and selling dice, a lot of, uh, it is not actually the making of the dice. Like, a lot of it, you know, there's a lot of admin work and stuff, too, when you're trying to be a sole proprietorship. But I do, let's see, I do try to make dice Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. I make molds Tuesdays and Fridays. Um, and Thursday and Sunday are technically my days off, but usually I'm inking dice on Thursday. Um, and Sunday is actually like my day off, but that's because I have family stuff usually. Oh, okay, we'll do that then in just a moment. We will, I will mix it up with the, yes, this is uh, rubbing alcohol. I know a lot of people use like flames and stuff to pop the surface bubbles, but this uh, this breaks the surface tension, so it works. I started out using rubbing alcohol because I had it. Oh, you just started using it. Oh, okay, cool. Um, I guess I should probably shouldn't be too worried about that here. Let me add some color to these. Um, I'm most, I want to make sure that all of this stuff uh, actually actually gets in there uh, yeah, the previous all the that sounds weird I want to make sure that the ink has enough time to drop to the bottom so let's let's start adding some dark colors so we've got like purple pink blue and like a teal let's add Drop of that. And I have the teal kind of on the other side because it's the furthest away from the purple in color. So I don't want those to mix and make brown on accident. And we'll add our blues and our pinks. We'll add our blue in between those two. So that, you know, things can mix. And we'll add a little, a little bit more blue maybe off to the side too. So I like that blue. It's a pretty blue. And then we'll add some pink. I don't know why I'm putting the lids back on. I'm going to need more of that, I'm sure. Add the pink. Yep, and let's add some white. Oh, if I get this lid off. And this is why things are covered in ink. Because, you know, I, I grab one and then it's just... Yep. I'm gonna need to grab. This is why I pulled out my. This is why I pulled out my new. My new uh, white. Well, I'm sure we'll get this new bottle coated in 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 pigment soon enough. But I haven't actually tried this one yet. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, this is nice and easy to use. This is a kind of a different bottle because I got a big thing of uh, the uh, alcohol ink because. You use a lot of white, at least I use a lot of white when I'm doing resin stuff, because I feel like it gets used in a lot of different things. Um, but it came like this little this little bottle with like a little like dropper tip. That's kind of cool. Let's add more purple to that one. This one could use some more pink maybe. We add another pink. Uh, a little bit more pink to this one. Make sure that these have get enough color to kind of coat everything. And we're just gonna add, add a couple more drops of white. Because the white is really what drags everything down. Um, it's really what kind of pulls all the colors to the bottom. Add a little bit more teal. Oh whoa! See that one just added way too much teal. These th that's the problem with like these ones is that they're just kind of inconsistent it feels like with how much pigment they add 
Yeah, this one, this one, this one is just a mess, you can see. Oh, well. I got a little bit more blue. I do like the blue as well. The blue is almost like a little bit lighter, which is kind of nice, to be honest. Kind of add some variation. All right, let's add some more white. And we'll see how things look. Uh, add some of the green and the blue. Oops. Yeah, I need to get used to this bottle. I haven't really used this bottle before, so it's a little bit it's a little bit more drippy than I was expecting at first. Uh, let's add a little bit more pink, I think, up here. This one can use another drop of pink. This one can use another drop of pink. I think that's probably going to be enough pink. The white, yes, the white's from the big pinata bottle. It's from, it's from here. So I just use, I use so much white. <laughs> I use so much white alcohol ink, like, because I use it for, like, most of my, um, why is that, how did that end up pink already? Oh, goodness. Let's clean off that tip. Um, oh, gosh. The, um, that's what you use, too? Um, what was I going to say? Because uh, you use it for, like, the Petri effect, like I'm trying to do now. Um, I use it to make things opaque, because, like, my alcohol inks aren't opaque. Um, so, I do that. So it just gets, it gets used for so many different, so many different things. And we're could use, I'm trying to make it so that there's no blank spots, because I found, if you're looking at getting dropper bottles like that for your other colors, because it looks so much simpler. Oh, like these? This one's nice. I don't know, that, that bottle works really well. It's not as messy as these ones, I feel like. Maybe it's just because the tip's further away or something, but these ones, they get ink everywhere. There's no overgrip. Yeah, I mean, I, I have been, like, maybe, eh, just a little bit. But I feel like this is easier to clean off, almost. How did I get purple on it already? I'm just like, how did I get purple up here? Man, I don't know how I'm getting purple on here. Oh, you can get a bunch in a package of them on Amazon. Okay. That's good to know, honestly. I'm going to add another drop of purple here. Here. Like I said, I'm trying to cover up any um, spots that I can see through, because a lot of this color will start to kind of, kind of pull towards the middle anyways. Um, so I, I want to make sure that the edges are... Um, coated, you know, I don't, I, I don't want any blank, blank, uh, alright, and a little bit of teal there, a little bit of teal, oops, that's not where I meant to add it, but that's fine, and this one is a mess, so it's going away, because I don't want, I don't want to use it anymore, um, okay, pink, and oh, this one can use another drop of pink now, there we go, we'll add the pink where I wanted to add that other thing, runs down the bottle as opposed to ending up in your yeah, oh yeah, I see what you're saying, I see what you're saying. I have, I have added uh, an accidental, like, too many drops with this already, but that's just because I'm still getting used to it. But it is, like, pretty consistent, which is nice. Uh, like, I can tell when it's going to drop, which is, which is a problem I was having with the other one here, yeah. Purple Colt. You should, uh, you can start in a, a, a war in the Discord with, uh, Jen, and then also, uh, Vertaline. Because you can have your, your blue faction, your green faction, and your, your purple faction. I mean, you're all cool colors, but you're all cool colors. Oh, you were right the first time. There's no E on the end. There's no E on the end. It kind of looks like it should have one, but no, there's no E. All right, I think these are probably good. These are probably good. Let's uh, wipe this off again. Yeah, I like this bottle. Like I said, I had, hadn't used this yet, and it's pretty nice. Let's see if I can like not get 
all sorts of different colors in there. That'd be good. Ah. And purple faction will win. A mock and count on. <laughs> ah, I see you're you're getting your um, you're getting your people already. All right, we'll we'll mix up our our neon ones so that Mama can go to bed. Because I think I only need about two point five of each. I had way too much pigment. I'm gonna choose. Eh, eh, purple. Eh, eh, eh. Um, I don't know which. I'm trying to think now. Which, which. You know, I might join the green team just so that I don't end up on either your or Jen's side. That seems like the safest option. <laughs> but also, I do like green. I don't know. I like. I like just all. I like all those cool colors. So I don't know. Green is your favorite. Yeah. See, like. My favorite color for the longest time was uh, teal, which is kind of like a blue green. Mix these, oops, mix these up. Um, trail. And here's the see the green. I feel like the green. Uh, it's not showing up as super bright there because look, everything looks bluer through my camera. I think. But it's just so much brighter now that it's in resin. Yeah, it looks almost like teal in my camera or something. Well, I'll have to i I'll have to send photos uh, once I pull these out of the molds. I don't have to take some photos tonight, but you wanna eat it? Mmm, apple candy. Actually it does look like that kind of bright uh, apple flavored fake apple flavored stuff. Like that's the kind of green that it is. For sure. Oh, yes, I have a Discord. Um, oh, hey. Uh, oh, I didn't actually do that. Um, Omar, I was going to ask you if you wanted to be a uh, a mod, but there's that. <laughs> oh, ice cream dice. Oh, yeah. All of those dice look so yummy. Also, it seems like the person, the, the guy that does ice cream dice is super nice. Because I've, I've interacted with the sword. <laughs> yes, you would get a sword. You'd get the sword of bonking. Sword. <laughs> mine, mine. But that way, uh, you, can, you can type exclamation mark discord. I guess I should, I should set it up so that you don't have to be a mod to, to do that command. I don't know why I have it set up like that. He's level leg up. Da 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 da. But I think. But yeah, are you um? If you are interested, I think I can do that really easy. You need a sword. I think I can do slash mod. Oops. Yes. Actually, there we go. I think that will work, maybe? Did that work? Maybe it didn't work. Oh, yes, you do have a sword now. There we go. Now now you're fancy and have a sword of bonking. You, you and uh, Jen can duke it out the next time she's on. <laughs> All right, we've got our we've got our nice bright colors now. This should all glow in the dark. Wait, should we? Sh you know what? Well, let's get the it in the mold, and then I will turn off the lights, and we can see that everything glow. Uh, I feel like that's a nice nice order because I don't want the pink and the green to be next to each other. My flower, it grows. Yes, um, so I think that that would be a little bit. They probably end up making brown. I don't want the yellow and the green next to each other because, you know, they blend in a little bit too much. We're gonna we're gonna get the. Have I made a mistake? What have I done? What have I done? I'm gonna I'm gonna add just a little bit of that, and then we're gonna add a little bit of this 
one. And we're going to go back again and add more, but I don't want them spreading too much, so we're going to do these kind of a little bit at a time. Oh, yeah. I mean, I you seem like, I don't know, you've been around enough, I feel like I can, I can trust you <laughs> to uh, uh, have some good judgment. Well, I don't know about good judgment. You don't want to eat dice, so, I mean, you know, but other than that, Maybe you have the brain cells a group, uh, so. But yes, it's it's useful to have someone who can uh, uh, do things while I'm coding in resin. So thank you. All right, let's add a little bit of green. Look at all those bright colors. We've got. That's going to be all of our bright colors. Oh, the pink is so bright. All of these colors are so bright. Actually, now that like they're mixed with the resin, I feel like the blue is actually the darkest. It's so bright, it burns your eyes. Wonderful. Yeah, pretty much. I'll try to uh, add the rest of this stuff. Uh, that. Yeah, I... Uh, I do really like these pigments. They're they're very bright and colorful. Um, yeah. I uh, I've been kind of wanting to order stuff. So these are from Culture Hustle. Um, Stuart Semple, if you've ever heard of him, um, and his infamous uh, uh, feud with uh, Honest Report. But um, very like good. Pigment. I've, I've been wanting to get like lit, which is like the, supposed to be the brightest glow in the dark powder, which is what I have mixed in here. And to her, I was really impressed when I got that because I had gotten it and my brother and I were like a little skeptical. Oh, yay! I'll, have, I'll go take a look at that. I'll probably do it after the stream now that I have all of my resin out. It's gonna be, I don't want to make a huge mess, but um, I will definitely go take a look at that after the stream. Um, but, you know, once the, um, I know, me longingly looking at Culture Hustle project products. Yeah, exactly. That was me. Um, and then, um, Jen commissioned a set of, of neon dice and, like, was like, hey, what about these pigments? And I'm just like, yes, I will get pigments. <laughs> I will, I will get Culture Hustle pigments. That, that is not a problem. And so I got these and then also the, the, glow in the dark powder that I'd been wanting. Alright. I kind of wonder if I should do Alright, have a good night, Mother Rats. Glad you could stop by. We'll see. Hopefully hopefully I'll do uh, soap on Saturday. We'll see. <laughs> Uh oh, we've we've given uh, we've given Omar unlimited bunking power. No one is safe. All right. To be fair, I think we're pro I'm probably going to end up using like the other side of this one. Um, it's not the side that's up right now, but the one that's face down. Mm, but but boy, those colors are so pretty. The colors are so pretty. Yeah, I've got just a little bit of extra. I don't know what to do all, with all my little bits of extra resin. Maybe I'll just add them. I'm just going to add all of my little bits of extra resin to this cloud here. And then eventually I will have like a splatter painted cloud. That's, uh, that's my theory here. So I won't unmold this. I'll just have like a whole bunch of random colors in here. Oh, that might be kind of cool. <laughs> Just, just knock them all over the head with a with a cardboard tube. Just, just knock her out. Oh, you're a sucker for going the dark stuff. Oh, me too. But like the oh, I was saying about the um, the lit powder. Um, like I was, you know, I, I had heard of it type thing. Like it's supposed to be the glowiest glow powder, and it's kind of different because like you can charge it up with like heat instead of light and stuff. But um, you know, I was a little skeptical. My brother was also a little skeptical. Um, but I pulled it out of the box 
like just I just pulled it out of the box and I walked to a room that was slightly darker. I have 47 requests to stretch. What? I mean, what do you mean? It didn't pop up for me. Did I just like not take them off of the queue type thing? Um, but no, um, what was I saying? From the channel points? When are they from? When are those from? Um, uh, 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 like I walked from a room that was just slightly darker than the one I was in, and I could like see that stuff glowing, and I was like, oh, this stuff is really bright. Alright, so let's... So I'm going to do this in here, and then I'll do probably another... So I'm going to close it. Yeah. Um, I'll let this cure, I think, and then I'll probably do like maybe a white or a black second layer. I think that'd look really cool, actually. With the like neon colors that glow. Ooh, that'd be really cool. The oldest six months ago, the most recent... Oh yeah, okay, I'm like... Not tonight. I haven't seen anything pop up tonight for that. But, you know, it's, it wouldn't be the first time that Streamlabs has gotten confused. Um, okay, we're going to do a random piece of resin in there. It doesn't match what I was trying to do at all. Um, yeah, I think we're good. So we're going to go up to about 10 milliliters here. Mix that in. We'll just use one of these from over here. Um, <laughs> I like the Jen, I know you'll watch the VOD. I challenge you to a duel. Is this a color battle or a sort of bonking battle? Because I feel like, actually, you know, you can just duel over the colors with your swords of bonking. I am just realizing now how amusing it is that I refer to having, uh, uh, mod privileges is having the sort of bonking. That's that's just kind of amusing now that I'm thinking about it. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna add this to one of these. I think maybe this one. I like this shape. So we're gonna add just gonna grab a whole bunch of like glitter and pieces that are cut up into random shapes. We're gonna scoop it into here. And kind of press it down into the into the form. I'm probably going to add a little bit more resin, maybe, just so I can... I want to make sure that I get this on... I, you know, I don't want all of the little pieces just on one side. I want to get it all the way out to the side, so I'm kind of squishing things around a little bit so that some of the smaller pieces can fill in some of these odd shapes. Ah! And then we'll, we'll add... I added a little bit too much gold glitter, but to be honest, I'm not, I'm not bothered by it. Like, it's just very shimmery. Which one are you saying you like? This or uh, or having the sort of funking? Uh, let me add the last little bit of this. I think there's a little spot over here that can use just a little bit more. Both. Both. Both is good. Both. Right, there's a couple pieces that are stuck to the bottom. Get off. There we go. Let's see. Where do we need a little bit more? Maybe up at the top here. So this is, um, this is one where I might end up doing like another layer resin, because it's very, very uneven at the top here. It's a little bit, you know, it's going to be kind of pointy. So I think I might end up wanting to uh, flatten it out, but that might be easier to do in thinking in a second pour. I don't know. We'll see how much extra resin I have, and if I have a bunch of extra resin, I'll pour it into here. But for now, I'll just get all of this last little bit of glitter. I'm going to scrape it into the mold. Alright. Got that. Let's uh, spritz everything down. That one looks like it had some bubbles. Um, and then let's do our... Let's do this one next because I want this one to also have time to sink. And I want my pink. Here's my pink. So this one I'm filling... Um, 
actually, I think that's all the ones for this, so I'm gonna move this forward and out of the way. Um, yeah. Uh, this one's gonna be partially uh, mica powder and partially like a clear, it's pink, sorry. Um, partially clear pink. Um, and this is gonna be chock full of a lot of mica powder. Because the plan here is I want that mica powder to sink. I want it to sink down into the pink and uh, kind of have a little bit of, oops, that is more resin than I meant to add. That's fine with that a little bit better. Um, we want it to sink down into the pink and, uh, okay, oops. Um, have kind of like a petri effect sort of, but with the mica. And to do that, I found that it helps to have the resin really saturated with the mica powder because we want it to be heavier. And mica's like a type of rock, so it, it is heavier, but um, if you just have a little tiny bit, it kind of suspends pretty well, but if you got a whole bunch, it, it makes it so that the resin is heavier. Yeah, what's up? Alright, so there's there's our, our yellow, which has a whole bunch of mica powder in it. What's it? i do that with the with our pink here. I like pink. Pink's a good color. I was definitely that uh, that uh, like that that kid who's just like, oh, I can't like the color pink. It's too girly, and now I'm just like, pink, so pretty. Yeah, I don't know. Sink into the pink. Oh gosh. No, 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 no. Bad Omar. No, 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 no. There will be none of that here. Alright. I just want that to be nice and bright. So we're going to do that in one of these. I feel like that'd be kind of cool in this shape. You are a child. It's kind of funny, um, like having having a dirty sense of humor is thought of as childish, but also like you have to get to a certain age where you kind of understand what you're saying too. Like there's there's kind of like that weird in between. There's not really an appropriate time to have like an inappropriate like a, a crude sense of humor, because like when you're an adult, you're like oh, you're too old for this, but when you're a child, it's like oh you're too young for this. Kind of a, a weird observation here. I feel like, yeah, maybe, maybe as like a, a high schooler, maybe that's uh, it's just like ah, kids saying all these these things. I feel like that's probably when I had the crudest sense of humor was in high school. <laughs> like Liz, please realize, Liz, please stop saying things. All right, I'm gonna get all of our pink. I'm gonna spritz that down, I think, before we uh, add our yellow. Hopefully make some like kind of bubbly effects. I'm gonna try and softly layer this on top. That's kind of the goal here, to kind of softly layer it. I don't know, this is probably the worst way to do this. I probably should do it with like a pipette, but we're gonna, I'm just gonna kind of gently put this on top. Yeah, to be fair, I've said it before too, like, my brain is not on while I'm streaming. Um, and that's because my brain has to be on. That sounds very counterintuitive, but I mean, um, like, while I'm streaming, I'm not just thinking about what I'm saying. I'm also trying to think about, you know, what I'm working on and making sure that everything's up and running and reading all of you guys' comments in the chat. Get off to bed. All right, have a great rest of your night. Sleep well. I'm glad you could stop by. So it's one of those things where it's just like, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just saying words as I uh, attempt to attempt to do other things. Aha, uh -huh, you have, you have, uh, you're now part of the clan. You've been bumped. All right, I'm going to. I'm going to try and, I do want to try and maybe spread some of this yellow out. 
so it's all the way out to the edges. And it's going to end up being a little bit kind of orangey here, but that's okay. I just want to make sure that the yellow is getting to all of the different spots. All right. And this is one of those ones where we're going to have to see how it turns out. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I just want to, we're going to see if the yellow sinks or not. If not, who knows? It might be interesting as well. All right, last one. We're going to, oh, actually, I might have enough for, I'll have enough for that, I think. All right, last one. This one. That's my thing. We're going to do, like, a purple. Hey, you should be happy. We're going to do a purple one. Purple. I do like purple. I like lots of colors, though. It's so this purple. So I mentioned before the my my alcohol ink purple. I don't use it a lot because um, once the resin has cured, it looks um, it looks kind of brown. Like the purple looks kind of brown. And then this purple, which I actually like a lot, I use quite often, um, it's kind of funny because when it is in uncured resin, so like when it's like here, it doesn't look very bright or pigmented, like it's kind of muted. And then once it cures, it's like a nice pretty bright purple. <laughs> it's like so opposite to my other purple. It's kind of funny. Alright, so this is going to be a mix of gold and gold foil, purple, and some iridescent. I just add way too much air to this. Uh, oh well. Uh, but some iridescent like foil stuff that I got recently that I wanted to try out. I'm gonna try my stuff with my, with my sticky fingers. Alright. So let's try adding some of these iridescent Flakes and gold foil. I'm gonna get some of that stuff out of the way. So there's all those iridescent flakes and stuff. Um, I don't want them all like on top of each other, so I'm gonna try and spread those out a little bit. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit more uh, of the purple color to my mixing cup here, so I have a little bit more space. Because all of these, all of these little plastic sheet pieces are kind of getting in the way of my stirring. Um, and I'm going to add a little bit more of the, of the, uh, purple color. Make it a little bit darker. I think that'll be nice. I think a slightly darker purple would be nice. So one more dark. We'll mix that up and see how that looks. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Let's, uh, let's make sure this is all the way to all of the edges, so I'm not going to end up with it super uneven or anything, and then let's add this purple as well. Alright. That's the, so the phone grips have been kind of fun because it's, it's kind of a different, it's a different thing that I'm kind of doing. I, I mean, obviously it's a different thing, but like with dice, you have a lot of different sides that are going to be seen, um, whereas with the phone grips, you really only have like one side that's going to be seen. There's really only, you know, one side to the phone grip that, that people look at, and that's going to be the one that's on the outside. So it's, it's kind of, I, I can do different things. Also, these don't have to be weighted. That's part of the reason that I was using the space charms in them, which are in these ones that are all covered up at the moment. Um, it's because they don't have to be weighted a certain way, which is nice, because I can use, like, little metal things and... You know, other things, the the designs don't have to be, like, physically balanced. They, you know, I want the designs to be, like, visually balanced, but they don't have to be physically balanced, which is, opens up for some, some different possibilities. But at the same time, like, these are very flat, whereas the dice are maybe more round. So, you know, there's different things that I can do with the uh, different, with the different uh, mediums. Not mediums, they're the same medium, I guess, but the different, uh, uh, what would you call it? Different, uh, uh, items? I guess, yeah, there we go. With the different items. Okay, if I can clear, add a little bit of clear to this one. Uh, actually, why don't we add some color to that? Let's add some, 
Let's add some like black maybe. I'm gonna add a drop of black to this. I'm just gonna go on kind of the back. Oh no, actually no we're not. Um, because this might end up being the front now that I'm thinking about it. We could add a drop of purple. Add a drop of purple. Everyone likes purple. Alright. It's not gonna be a very dark purple, but it's gonna be a very, very light purple, but that way at least it won't look just like super boring or whatever. If uh if you see it from the side a little bit. I feel like we could also add some glitter. Oh, you know what we could add? Mm, no, we're just gonna add we're just gonna add some resin. I just want this to be coated. So these are I'm gonna get all of these poured and then uh, we'll spritz it down with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. These are not going to be going into the pressure pot because these molds won't fit. Um, that's that's literally the only reason that they're not going in. Uh, they're just a little bit too big and I, I realized that because of how they're built on the bottom I can't really cut them apart. Um, yeah, let's add this last little bit of resin somewhere. Couple things. Let's make sure that's pushed down. I'm trying to make it so that there's not a bunch of like pokey parts sticking out. Alright. Um, but let's add this last little bit of resin somewhere. I'll just, we'll just add it to one of these geode shaped ones. That seems like a good plan. thinking about what we wanna what I wanna make next. I'm thinking dice again. I'm I, not I mean I, I'm thinking about dice. Uh, not like what sort of, of item do I want to make next, but like what sort of design do I want to make make next? I have some some molds sitting over next to me that I need to put little mountains in. So I'm gonna work on those. This is just a like a clear purple by the way. Maybe we'll add some, ooh, let's add some, uh, some ink to this one as well. Should we just do, should we just do like all the purples? What, uh, what color of ink should I add to this one? Hmm. Let's press everything down again. I'm thinking maybe just some pinks and some purples. Just, I'm going to add some... This one's probably not going to drip too well, uh, like it's not going to do the petri too well because it's a little bit later, the resin's a little bit thicker. That's part of the reason I did these first, is because I wanted the, um, the ink to be able to drop into the, the resin. Um, it, you know, I wanted the resin to be thin enough, I wanted it to have enough time, that sort of thing. So this one, this might not work out that well, but that's okay. It'll still make an opaque... Oh, I, what am I using this one for? This one's out. It'll still make a... a um, uh, an opaque backing, at least, for the... Uh, for the, the foam grip. It's always kind of fun... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? P putting, like, my extra resin into something else seeing how it turns out. I've definitely found some really cool designs that way on accident. Where it's just like, oh I have all this extra resin, uh, let's just put this into a dye and see what happens. And it's like, oh, this color combo is really nice. Alright, so I'm, I'm gonna finish things up here for the night before I switch things, everything down one more time. Um, but I do think that we should turn the lights off and see how this one looks. Oh, too late! I have done, already done the pink and purple. But purple, purple and yellow could be cool, so maybe we'll, we'll try that at some point. Um, but let me, I'm going to turn the light off and let's see how well this glows. Okay, hold on, I'll take my gloves off too. Can we see it? Uh, it's kind of hard to see. Just like, I'm just taking my gloves off. 
but I will. Okay. Okay. Oops, let's make it so I can see. Yeah, kind of hard to see at the moment, but uh, both oh, <laughs> Fitz is back being sad outside. All right, let me let me let me turn the lights back on. But I think that's pretty much it for tonight. Um, I am hoping to try and um, definitely brighter than the rest. Yeah, yeah. It, it'll be brighter, I think, once it's cured and I, I can actually like charge it up and stuff. Uh, but I'm hoping to, I'm hoping to make soap maybe on Saturday. That's my, that's my hope to get everything set up. So maybe, maybe we'll try doing that. It's gonna, it's gonna take a little bit of preparation on my part because we'll be doing it at the table behind me. But if you want to see, if you want to see cold process soap making, uh, noon on Saturday, I, I will be here. So thank you guys for stopping by. Um, hopefully I can see you guys then. And have a great rest of your your day or evening. I'll see you guys later. Bye.